Let's show you how to take the guesswork out of setting up a lock miter joint. The lock miter profile is excellent for making things like posts, columns, and scribes for cabinets. But it's never been easy to set up until now. The router table has to be set up to cut the miter properly, and with the tongue and groove profile exactly centered on the stock, which used to take a lot of trial and error. Microjig's lock miter bit features the patent pending center finding platform that allows you to correctly set the bit height from the beginning, greatly simplifying the entire process. While any height gauge can be used with our center finding platform, Microjig's half gauge instantly finds the center point of the stock for transfer to the router bit. The center point of the lock miter profile is always going to be halfway between the tongue and groove. Our exclusive center finding platform is the only way to physically measure this point. The correct position for the router table fence is found by aligning the top of the stock, the face of the fence, and the edge of the carbide cutter to a single point. A steel rule makes it easy to connect these three points together. If your router table is equipped with a sacrificial fence, cutting into it a little way with the bit creates a zero clearance type situation, which can greatly help reduce tear out and chipping on your parts. The right angle lock miter joint is made up of two cuts. One half with the part flat on the table, the other half standing up against the fence. In either case, this is a pretty big cut, so it's very important to maintain control over the parts throughout the cut. A small bevel cut made at the bottom corner of the material can help. Just be careful not to remove any material that will be needed for the tongue and groove. Whether you need to miter one or both edges of your stock depends on the project. The second half of each cut uses the same router table setup, but with the part being held vertically against the fence. The center finding platform ensures that the bit height is correct, so any adjustments needed are made here at the fence. But with a little care in your initial setup, you should get the right fit the first time. The lock miter is mostly used for long bevel joints. So excess glue has nowhere to squeeze out and can even keep the joints from closing. So Microjig's lock miter bit features a small glue well at the bottom of each tongue. This makes assembly easier, requires fewer clamps, and gives you better results. You'll get the best results from your lock miter bit if your stock is properly prepped. The best results are always going to be had when the stock is jointed flat and planed to the same thickness. The unique features built into Microjig's lock miter router bit means you can get the best results the first time and every time.